Hi there and welcome. I am Kathleen and I am Ms. Artastic and I am the creator of all things Arta Ms. Artastic and Artastic Kids. So in this episode, I'm going to be talking a little bit about some three, three uh, Earth Day art activities that you can use for your kids at home. So whether they're your kids, um, maybe your aunt or your grandparent and you're looking after them and you're just wanting some cool Earth Day themed art activities, my friend, you are in the right spot. So here we go. So Earth Day is just around the corner. So I'm going to give you three Earth Day art activity ideas that you can do with your kids, grandkids, or family to engage them in the art making process while also creating awareness around the fragility of our planet and all the life forms that inhabit it. So again, we're going to dive in right now on this episode and here we go. We're going to find three Earth Day art ideas. All right, so my, for my first idea um, is that you could create found nature artworks inspired by Ansel Adams. So Ansel Adams is an American photographer known for capturing amazing moments. So you can grab your tech and kids and head outdoors for this artwork. So it's a great excuse to not only get outdoors, but you're gonna already have a pre-planned idea of what you're gonna do. So it's gonna be something different other than just exploring nature or playing with their toys outside or whatever, going to the park. We're gonna add another layer on it, something different, right? Um, so you can find some nature elements that are already fallen, of course, no picking, and then create an artwork using things such as sticks and stones, leaves, flower petals, etc., and essentially place them into a design, okay? So you're gonna be placing those elements into a design. So after, have your kids capture the artwork with a device. So take your device, grab your tech again, right? Take a picture of it, but not only that, um, you can teach them about some photography elements, right? So you can play around with things on settings, so to create color or black and white photography, um, and even have them take pictures from a distance, right? Woo! To the side, you can get up close with it, all that. So experiment with different ways to actually take the photographs so they can start really understanding that we're not just taking a picture and hoping for the best, but learning some photography skills as well, like different angles. They can go up and down and then get to the side of it, all different things to try and take a much more um, dynamic picture, but also it's going to change the meaning of the artwork. It's gonna change the view um, from the point of view of the photographer, right? It's gonna change the view of the artwork itself so that's going to add another layer to it. Um, for added fun, you can print off your one, you know, have your kids pick one picture that they're going to, that's going to be their artwork, right? After you take all your stills, pick one that's going to be then your actual artwork and then print it off each child and you included and then get some frames from the dollar store and then add your pictures to them to display in your home, in their bedrooms, wherever for some amazing seasonal artworks or memories. Okay, so the next idea is to do a nature walk for some outdoor observational drawings. Grab something to draw on and something to draw with and then head outdoors with your family. For this, walk around a beach, a lake, a park, hike, or wherever you want and then find somewhere to sit down together. Okay, probably um, maybe is a good idea to maybe bring a little fold up picnic blanket or something. Next, use your choice of art mediums to sketch or draw five things. You see, if they're younger kids, shrink that down to three. Um, have your kids spend time looking and noticing nature. What do they see? What do they smell? Hear? What does it feel like? Is it rough? Is it smooth? Then they can draw the thing they found using value and line to capture the highlights, shadows, and texture. Pro tip, so set a timer on your phone for five to 10 minutes to help them draw longer, right? Um, it's hard to uh, gauge, especially when you're a child, even as an adult, um, how much time has passed and we're trying to prevent the I'm done in one second thing. So set a timer on your phone and then prompt them by saying draw until the timer goes off. And then for younger kids, shorten that time 
to like three to five minutes for each observational sketch until they are ready to extend the time. Another idea, so the final idea for this for Earth Day is to do some silly planet artworks. So grab some paper, some felt markers and wax crayons and create some silly planets focusing primarily on creating Earth. So create some artworks and then watch a documentary or YouTube video for kids about our planet to bring some education, another educational layer to your home that again integrates our education. So first we're gonna create it and then we're gonna learn about it and then they can even make connections. You guys can talk about and make connections together that way. If you wanna add a literacy component to this later, if you're doing homeschooling, you can always prompt your kids to then, or you can also offer, I guess, really um, different books on the theme of our planet or nature or you can even do um, create artworks and then write about it create poems about earth day or nature so there's all kinds of ways you can extend this and make it truly interdisciplinary for your family and your kids if you're a homeschool parent these are all fabulous ideas you can make it super cross-curricular between art science uh, reading and writing that way right? Um, it's not just write a journal about what happened today. Well, we're at home again. No, we're, we created art. We learned about earth. We went on a nature walk. We can write about what we saw, create a poem about what we saw our experience, create a poem or write about our artworks or what we learned in the documentary or through reading what we learned, all those kinds of things. Um, and then also, yeah, I guess that would be really it. So really you can take this and make it as big or as small as you want for some um, more art ideas, you can always check out my um, uh, YouTube channel. So there are Earth artworks, um, Earth Eighth or animal, or I guess, themed artworks on my YouTube channel, Ms. Artastic. But for more artworks in general, you can subscribe to the Artastic Kids online streaming website where I provide families with a whole library of art lessons to choose from. Um, they come at a range of different levels. They come at a range of different categories and topics. And then five new art lessons are added every single month and you get to watch these and create art anytime, anywhere. We're using a range of different art mediums um, in a range of different ways. So check it out, artastickids.com. And my friend, that is it for this episode and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this awesome video. Please make sure that you hit that like button and in the comments, tell me what you would like to see in the next episode as well. If you would like to see more episodes, please hit that subscribe button. It will definitely allow me to continue to make these fabulous art videos. Well, for more art lessons, check out Artastic Kids. It is my online streaming art lesson community for kids and families so that you can make art with easy to find art mediums anytime, anywhere. Artastic Kids is where kids can unleash their creativity, build essential skills, and have fun. So visit artastickids.com to learn more. Mm -hmm.